Hello, and welcome once again to Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. And, uh, well, on my allotment we have successes and we have failures. And uh, in this area, I've sort of let it go, and I have put plants in, as you can t <laughs> tell next to me, that these are, or were, um, well, sprouts. And I've come across now to see them because they are a failure, and you'll get some close-ups in a moment. They're absolutely covered with caterpillars probably cabbage whites i don't know uh apps, masses and masses of caterpillars so um i'm doing my little bit to help wildlife and they're actually i've just looked across as well they're on they're on my uh, turnips over here but the turnips seem to be surviving so that's all right i don't think we'll get any sprouts off here but anyway this is what i'm doing on my allotment so i say we do have success and failures but we're off now to see janice Janice down there towards the Glastonbury area a completely different habitat down there a beautiful place and also the climate's completely different as well and it's a lot warmer down there a lot more Mediterranean and uh, and so plants grow well a lot better as always Janice your your vegetables are blooming absolutely amazing look at your cucumbers hanging down from within your greenhouse you've got your peppers and uh, your chilli peppers of course as well and your round bell peppers there aren't they lovely and look at that beetroots beans I think runner beans and of course uh, a pepper bang in the middle looking very majestic and then of course you've got your carrots your turnips parsnips maybe I think they are sorry and uh, a whole variety of vegetables growing and look at your cabbage again and well <laughs> Your sunflowers look absolutely amazing. I that sunflower is about 10 feet tall, or uh, your Bilbo Baggins. It's uh, <laughs> absolutely stunning. And look at the colours. Aren't they lovely? Red and orange and yellow sunflowers. They're really, really spectacular. How glorious it is. And well, we end with absolutely beautiful plates of salad. Look at those colours in that. I bet that tasted absolutely amazing. So once again, Janice, thank you for sending your pictures in. Oh, before we leave Janice, does anybody know what this plant is? Because I can't identify it, and maybe you, our viewers, can. I'm just watching a little bumblebee around my legs, I don't just squash him. So if you do know what this is, please put a message on and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let Janice know. Well, we're going to leave Janice now and head way down to the other part of the coastline, and we're going to towards, well, Clive, hello Clive on your allotment <laughs> and you have a dilemma what an amazing first of all pumpkin that's fantastic and uh, you built a special growing frame for it which is fantastic but now the pumpkin has decided to grow into the growing frame so how do you get the pumpkin out by the looks of it Clive the only way you're gonna have to do is to cut it out and uh, or see whether it can break through itself but uh, amazing growing from all of you and once again thank you for your pictures i hope you enjoyed looking at um, janice and clive's work in their gardens and here on mine it's tidy up time i think i need to get rid of i'm afraid um some of these lovely caterpillars there's hundreds of them but well, you know what nah we'll leave them let them have their bit of fun because they can't get inside the growing frame they're trying their best they're all over it i can see it from here but uh, they'll not get inside to get my other cabbages or my sprouts. We'll see you again on Jeremy's Yacht for Lombard Adventures. Ta-ra for now.